Welcome to an overview of a chart um, using Chart Dog Graph Maker to calculate rate of improvement for progress monitoring data. This is a tool that uses linear regression or ordinary leaf squares to calculate rate of improvement, which is the best um, metric to use because this metric includes all of the data in the data set. This is an overview of what a chart looks like. We've already, in the last recording, talked about creating an account. So I've already created that account and I'm already logged in. So I just need to uh, click on my stuff. And when I click on my stuff, I see that I have three charts available to me. If I wanted to create a new account, excuse me, a new chart, I would go on the left-hand side and click on Chart Dog Graph Maker. But since I want to take a look at an account or a chart that I have already created, I would click on Case Study Third Grade Computation. When I click on that, you can see that I have the chart. I can tell that I'm logged in at the top because of my username at the top, but I also want to make sure that I have the option to save my document because I'm going to be entering data and I want to be able to come back to the chart to enter more data or at any time if I want to share this chart with another educator, parent, or student, I have the option to do so. So at the top you see there's instructions. There's a basic overview of instructions. Then there's chart, which is the actual chart. We have our data that is available to us, data analysis, and then the option to print reports. Down here on the left, we have the option to create phases, set goals, aim lines, and enter data in a series. At the bottom, you're, you have the choice to hide goals or to um, be able to see those goals. Aim lines, trend lines, and chart options at the bottom. So here is the chart label, which is case study third grade computation. On the left hand side is the label for points, for how many points the student gets correct on each of the computation probes and the dates. And you can see that this is going from October to May of the school year. And your school year might like run longer or shorter to that. This green line here is the line that corresponds with the goal line. And the aim line is this blue line right here. That helps us to determine where the student is and where the student needs to go by the end of the year to reach this goal. And this goal is using third grade spring benchmarks. And it is the actual benchmark data that they're looking for. Sometimes you might want to set your chart at a little different um, level depending on how low the student is but today we're talking about a student who we are setting the goal at the end of the year spring benchmark. These purple dots are each individual progress monitoring probe and this chart making ability uh, we'll also chart the student's actual trend line, which is the purple dotted line at the top. You can also see a series of data starting from October 8th, going all the way down through May the 10th of the school year. The student was receiving Focus Math, which is a standard protocol program. And you can see that the phase is going from October, again, to the end of the school year in May. 
you have the ability to edit those um, if needed by just clicking on that pencil. Under the Data Analysis tab, you can learn um, what is the mean score for the student, percentage of non-overlapping data. You can determine the effect size of the intervention. And you can also find the trend line or ordinary least squares. This is where you would go to, do, to find the rate of improvement information that you need. So underneath trend line, ordinary least squares, remember which was the dotted purple line, you want to go under the slope category. Slope is equivalent to the rate of improvement. So this calculation, 0.11, is a daily slope or a daily rate of improvement. To find the weekly rate of improvement, which is how rate of improvement is typically reported, you would multiply that number by the seven days of the week to get 0.77. So on this particular line, going from October all the way to the end of the school year, the student's rate of improvement, as calculated by this ordinary least square line or slope, which are the dotted purple lines, is 0.77 points per week. Another option that you have with this reporting tool is the print reports. So if you click on print reports, And we scroll down a little bit more. Let's try that again. You have the option to click on PDF report. And I'm going to open that, of course. And then you get a PDF of your chart. And you can see that you have exactly what we saw as far as the charting ability there with the aim line, the trend line, the data points, and the goal line. And you have your data table, which tells you the date and the value. And if at any point when you're entering the data you wanted to enter any comments, those comments would be listed there. For example, possibly a student wasn't feeling well and they did not perform as expected. You include that data as normal, but you might comment to that effect. Or possibly a fire drill occurred during the assessment. And then it would also list the slope, the intercept, and other information about the phase that is in this chart. The next recording is going to be about the actual creation of a chart and entering data into the chart.